This video is sponsored by uPresenter, an AI-powered platform for interactive e-learning presentations and quizzes. Besides the clever AI assistant, uPresenter is unique in the AI market for the various built-in interactive questions and detailed report tracking ability. Sign up now and explore many other superior features of uPresenter AI. Okay, so when I upgrade to this latest version of Filmora, I found out that the export window is different now. So, yeah, maybe it's time for me to make a new tutorial about how to export your video and how to set up the parameter in the export window, okay? Just to help you export your project successfully. By the way, before trying to export the video, you need to consider your project setting first. So if you are producing video for YouTube, you need to set up your project in a widescreen format. And if you are producing video for YouTube short, TikTok or Instagram, stuff like that, you have to change the aspect ratio to vertical format, okay? For example, this is a horizontal format. So we need to double check the project first. We go to file and see the project setting here. And we have some option here, but the aspect ratio is 16 by 9. Resolution Full HD or 1080p. And you can go to 4K also. And for the frame rate, it is 24 frames per second. And we can click OK. Supposing that you are editing your video and now you want to export it. Okay, so just click the export button here. By the way, you have a drop down menu here and it do the same job okay so you can click create video it is the same so now i can click export and we have a new export window and i have no idea why wondershare just change it okay so first thing first we need to select local to save your video onto your computer never go with device and social media if you go with social media you have to log into your account like tiktok or youtube but Sometimes it's cause error, so I think it's better to go with local. And next thing, you want to give it a title, for example, demo video. So this is the title of your video, and it is on your computer, not on YouTube or on TikTok. Okay. Next up, you need to select the location on your computer to save the file. Okay, and do not enable this option. Back up to cloud because when you purchase the license of Filmora, you have only one gigabyte free for the cloud. Okay, so never enable this one. And for the preset, you can select match to project setting or custom. So normally, when I set up my project properly, then I can just select this option match to project setting. Okay. By the way, we have some other preset. If you want to create a preset for later use, you can do it right here also. So next up, we need to select the format. For example, we can select MP4 for most of our video for YouTube, TikTok, and Reel, stuff like that. And next up is the resolution. So the resolution is the same with the project setting. Encoder, H264. This is the best option for YouTube video, TikTok video. Okay, so next up, we can click here at the advanced tab because we need to increase the bitrate number to have a good video quality. So just scroll down here and select the bitrate mode. There are two options for you, variable bitrate or constant bitrate. It's up to you, by the way. I think it's the same. So just select constant bitrate here. And for the bitrate number here, we can select high. So it would, they will increase the bitrate number to 10,000 kbps, but normally I see like 10,000, 15,000, and sometimes 20,000 with the same video quality. So we can keep it at 10,000 kbps for this. And down here, you have some more option for the compression quality and audio and channel, stuff like that. But in my opinion, I think you just need to ignore it, okay? And next up, if you want to save it as a preset for later use, you can click here. At this option save as preset and we can name it Jackie YouTube style like that and we can click save okay next thing we need to click the export button by the way you have some option here if you have a good GPU then you can enable the GPU acceleration but for me I think it just click export okay so when it finished you can click here to open the folder on your computer 
like this. And you see here, we have a demo video in the output. So that is how to find the output on your computer. And you can also share to social media right from here. By the way, I never do that because I just upload the video from my computer manually. Okay. So this is how you can export a video in Filmora 14, the latest version. And if you want to upgrade to the latest version of Filmora, just go ahead to the link in the description. And if you want to purchase the license of Filmora, don't forget to use my special discount coupon code to save your money. Okay. By the way, you need to log into your account to export your project using Filmora 14. That's all for today's video. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any question, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.